Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to my New York City kitchen where today I'll be making gluten-free corn muffins. So before me, I have a few ingredients here. In this bowl, I have cornmeal and gluten-free flour. You can get a lot of different already mixed together gluten-free flours, all-purpose flours they're called, that are gluten-free. I suggest you get one of those. And then I just mixed it with some cornmeal. And I'm gonna put in maple sugar. You can also use brown sugar if you like. I tend to prefer maple sugar because it has the flavor of maple coming from maple syrup. And it also has a lot of antioxidants and other nutrients like magnesium and selenium and iron. And then over here I have baking powder and baking soda. So first I have a couple eggs. I'll beat these before I add in the other wet ingredients. And then I have some vegetable oil that we will add here. And when you're making things like muffins, we always wanna keep the dry ingredients separate from the wet to begin with. And then we will incorporate them, adding the wet directly to the dry. So that was buttermilk. So I'm adding some buttermilk here, which adds some acid and also some fermented dairy. So then I'm gonna carefully incorporate the wet and the dry ingredients here. Okay, that looks great. Now, I really like some things to jazz up my muffins. So I have some frozen corn here that we're adding in. We're gonna just mix it in gently. You can also put in chopped jalapeno or chopped red pepper. Those are really nice touches. Okay, this looks great. All right, so I just have a third cup measure. You can also use a quarter cup. We're just going to try to fill about two thirds of the way. So then I'm gonna fill up all 12. I have the oven preheated to 375 degrees. So we'll pop these in the oven for about 20 minutes and then we'll see you back here. Beautiful, gorgeous. So you can let them cool right in the pan or you can pop them out and cool them on a rack, whatever you like. But make sure you let them cool a little bit before you try to eat them. I like to put some butter on them, maybe a little honey, but uh, they're good as is also. So once again, I'm Abby. Thanks for watching my New York City kitchen. This is my gluten-free corn muffin. We'll see you next time. Bye.